Now then YouTube, I'm the Tothman and welcome back to some more Youth Challenge. Welcome back to episode 29 of my Youth Challenge. And guys, there's still a couple of seasons left at least until we can finish this series. So I do hope that you're enjoying it, guys. Um, and if you are, please go ahead and leave a like. It's the best way of showing me that you are still enjoying the series. Um, okay, so now we start the season proper. Now we will get in to playing against the likes of Sunderland, against the likes of Chelsea, Manchester City, Liverpool, Manchester United, all of the big people. It's time to get into Premier League football, guys. Our first foray into Premier League football is an away game at Sunderland. Now, it's a very, you know, it's a good start, is Sunderland. It's a good start. Being away from home, not so great of a start. So this is the team that's going to go out, guys. We've got full 70s across the board now, which is fantastic. No 60s in sight. 71 is our lowest rated player, the young left back there in AU. Uh, other than that... We've got a pretty, we've got a decent side. We've got not not got an amazing side, but I think we've got a mid-table side in the Premier League. Let's go ahead, simulate our first away game against Sunderland. Can we get a victory in our first? Oh no! It's a bad start, guys. As expected, you know, being away from home, we've lost against Sunderland one nil. Um, now the only, I said we've got a couple of seasons. There is another way that this season, this series will end. And that is, of course, I get sacked. I hope not. You know, the, the thing was avoid relegation, and, and uh, I hope to do that. Well, we've got an offer for Rasham Sadami now, guys. Uh, let's go and take a look and see what he... Oh, well, it's actually a loan offer. I forgot about that. A season-long loan over to Swansea City. Well, we've got a home game next now against Manchester United, and it is going to be the first team that goes out once again. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and change out Lopez for Reed. And I think that was the only thing uh, to do that will actually, yeah, that's the only one left to actually change around was Reed. So I will go ahead and say yes to that. Home game against Manchester United. It's always going to be a difficult game. Let's go ahead and simulate this game. Are we going to lose our first two games in a row in the Premier League? Our first two opening games. Wimbledon versus Manchester United. Oh, get in there, my son! Eighth minute, Murphy goes and scores. And then, of course, Reed in the 86th minute gives us a 2 0 victory, at, uh, 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 you know, at home against Manchester United. That is amazing. Transfer for, for Marlon Perkis. Let's go in there and accept that offer as well. It's a season long loan to Reading. Well, I think to me, guys, the more, most important thing is the league. I really am more interested in the league. So I'm going to send my first team out against Leeds, and I'm going to put my second team out in a few days in the Capital One Cup, uh, Cup match against Wigan. So first team is going to go out away at Leeds. Fellow promoters, uh, promotion people. Fellow promotion people. Leeds versus Wimbledon away from home, and it's nil-nil. That's not a bad result. You know, I'll take that. Transfer offer for Pablo Rivera, who is another season-long loan out on the right midfield there. To Gillingham. Transfer offer on transfer deadline day for Theodore Nicholas, a season long loan of to Barnsley. I think that will do him the world of good. So let's send him out. It's the first of the month after transfer deadline day has come and gone. We've got a youth squad monthly report. There's only a few people left in there now. Danny Barrera. I am looking forward to seeing what that guy is going to look like. Now, somebody was saying uh, in the comment section uh, on previous episodes that you have to wait. They will get a, a big, you know, kind of jump when it comes down to May, but then the physical stats won't grow up. That's not exactly true. Um, I have seen people who I've got before May who have ended up still not growing in physicals, and it just seems to be hit and miss whether or not they do actually grow in physicals or not, so there's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, but that's his physicals at the moment. Not great, you know, but, you know. Hey! Oh, hey! Anyways, uh, and Agreo, oh man, I can't wait until he goes round there. Jesus Christ, it's going to be amazing. Fernando Romero, um, jean Lucas Seclin, and of course, Manuel Adolfo. All of these all of these people look absolutely fantastic and uh, will definitely go into my team. Probably not first team, but they will, uh, they will do a def definite job for us. Anyway, let's go back. We've got scouting monthly updates, of course, guys, as well, to have a look through. I will leave him there because he's just on the cusp of 90. Ooh. 
Well, I'll sign him up between 70 and 94. Sign him up. And the other two can uh, get rejected and I'll leave him for a month. That's Tom Jones. W uh, Wanyama. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. And not quite, I'm afraid. Wanyama, you've done me... Uh, you've not done me proud again. Dario Vadeo. My God, another Vadeo. Let's go ahead and sign him up because he's in the 70s. 70 to 93. That's amazing. Um... I'll continue scouting him. Not him, though. And not him, either. I will continue scouting him. So, squad report time as well, guys. That is the team that's going to be facing off against Wigan. Still a pretty strong side. Um, but we need to do a squad report to see how people are going along. Sergei Shatov has gone up 1 to 77. Deegan has gone up 1 to 76. Pantic has gone up 1 to 69. Miguel has gone up 1 to 74. Bradley Munns has gone up another 1 to 84. Mayan Bale has gone up 1 to 71. Matt Sura has gone up 1 to 72. Isi Matt Mirin has gone up 1 to 70. Any more? Yes. Isaac Holmberg has gone up 1 to 74. Mitsuharu Chiamas has gone up 1 to 81. Harrison Reed has gone up 1 to 76. Ryan Murphy has gone up 1 to 74. Any more? Josh McGlashan has gone up 1 to 73. Simovic has gone up 2 to 68. Miz Miatovic has gone up 2 to 81. Hernandez has gone up 1 to 59. Ayu has gone up 1 to 72. Aware has gone up 1 to 70. Hishida has gone up 1 to 69. Lopez has gone up 1 to 62. Armand Person has gone up 1 to 71. Contreras has gone up 2 to 60. He's out on loan. I think. Uh, Rasham Sadami. He's gone up 1 to 72. Marlon Perkins has gone up 1 to 68. Theodore Nicholas has gone up 1 to 60. And that is that. So. Our home game, a Capital One Cup game. Second team that's going to be going out and facing off against Wigan today. Well, mainly a second team, apart from Bradley Munns there uh, and Shatov. So, Wimbledon versus Wigan. 1-0. Mayan Baylor getting us the winner with our second team, which is fantastic stuff. Well, everybody's improving, guys. Everybody really is improving. And it... Next season, we're looking at a few people that are probably going to be knocking on the 80 door as well. So we're going to end up with a really, really good side here. As long as we can stay in the Premier League this season and as long as we can do well, then uh, I reckon we've got a really good chance of getting into the Champions League spaces with, uh, with what we've got. So let's go ahead. Our home game this time against Middlesbrough in the Premier League. It looks like they're the ones that got uh, promoted alongside us. They've drawn, lost and drawn. So they haven't won in their last three. Well, they haven't won in the last four now. Murphy and Miatovic with two goals. And Miatovic also missed a Jeff to get himself a brace. Oh, so annoying. 2-0 the, uh, uh, the final score was. So, four point. Look at that, guys. We're actually fourth. We're in the Champions League spots. Holy shit. Well, again, I think I'm going to go ahead and concentrate more on the league, guys, because we've got Aston Villa and Chelsea coming up with a Capital One Cup game against Saints right in the middle of that against Southampton. I don't want that. I want to concentrate my first team on the league. The second team can go out there with a Capital One Cup. That's what you normally see, actually, in, you know, when, it, when, it, when you go out there. So that's going to be our first team, and it's going to go away at Aston Villa. They have w one of each of their things have drawn, won, and lost in the last three games, but we are away from home. Oh, get in there! Allen and Murphy with the goals. Burke getting a goal for Aston Villa, but it's not enough. And that gives us another three points in the Premier League. Fantastic. It is our entire second team that's going out against uh, Southampton, guys. This midweek Capital One Cup game against Southampton. It's a home game, so you never know. We may have a chance, but it, they've won their last three games, including European games as well. So they're doing really, really well for themselves, Southampton. And, oh my God, I can't believe it. I've never been this far away from home. <laughs> no, Wimbledon versus Southampton, 4-0. We absolutely owned them. Matsura, Mayan Bela, Dariqua with two goals. We destroyed them with our second team. That is insane. Well, it's our entire first team that's going out against Chelsea, apart from Martin Meyerstam, who's come in for... Um, who was it? Who is it that's usually there? What's his first? Murphy's usually there, but unfortunately he's a little bit worse for wear and I've decided to go with fitness over form today and hopefully that will do as well. It's Chelsea though, you know, and really it's always going to be difficult. Uh, it's a home game against Chelsea. We are currently sitting in fourth place in the league, which is a surprise within itself. Now, they've actually, they're playing in Champions League football as well at the moment, 
Wimbledon versus Chelsea. Oh, it's a it's only one nil. We kept them to only one nil, guys. That is absolutely amazing. But uh, we were at home. I was ex I, I was hoping for a little bit better, but really, it's what you can expect. It's the 1st of October, which you know what that means, guys. It's another... Well, we're not going to look through that. We'll look through that when we get around to May. But we've got some youth scouting reports to have a look at. And Danny Byrne looks nowhere near good enough. This guy, George Patty, has been 90 now for a couple of, uh, of months. So we're going to go ahead and sign him up. Because why not? Because why not? Everybody else looks pretty shit in here so far. Yep. Everybody was absolutely crap in there so far. Mind making loads of noise. Thank you. Um... 53 to 73, not worth looking at. Not worth looking at. Wow, Julian Blum, what a keeper he could be. Let's go and sign him up. He doesn't look like he's going to get there, and neither does he. Uh, another one more to have a look at. 71 to 94, Daniel Lugano. We'll go ahead and sign him up as well. 70 to 94, there's another one. 60 to 90, well, we'll leave him there for um, another month, if we can, of course. Oh no, it's already, it's all it's probably going to drop. And we've got better goalkeepers anyway, so let's just go ahead and leave him there. All right, so they want to move on because they're getting annoyed we're not getting any first-team football. I don't personally give a flying fuck. So anyway, Mr. Haru Chiamas has gone up 2 to 82 now. Gonzalo Miguel has gone up 2 to 75. Harrison Reed has gone up 2 to 77. These are really, really kicking on now. Isaac Holmberg has gone up 2 to 75. Ryan Murphy has gone up 2 to 75. Nice. Any more for any more? Yes, Rasham Sadami, up 2 to 73. He looks like a quality player in the future. Marlon Perkis, up 2 to 69. Pablo Rivera, up 1 to 64. Theodore Nicholas has gone up 2 to 61. Remember, that's that guy who could be like the world-class centre-back, but I think we just... He wanted to leave the... Uh, don't even think about it, Cat. He wanted to leave the youth system before um, he, he had a chance to, to get the... Um, the, 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 the oh, what do you call it? the kind of kick up uh, so that's it for that that's the squad report first team guys first team is going to go out once again stronger than they were in the last month by uh, a couple of points at least some of these so let's go ahead and simulate the game away at Swansea they've lost their last three games you watch they'll win this one Swansea versus Wimbledon Oh, it's a draw. One all draw. Miguel actually saving the, our blushes there with a goal in the 81st minute. Well, a home game against Southampton is right now, guys. They've done their uh, their business away. They've got they've done their international duties, and now they're back. 17th of October, home game against Southampton. We're currently sat in seventh place, doing very well for a team that's just got promoted. They've uh, lost two of their games of the last three, and a four 0 win that we had last time. Well, it's a 3-1 victory this time around. Murphy and Mizmiatovic with two goals. There is talks, guys, of uh, Rossi being homesick, would you believe? Like five seasons after we've bought him. So that's a little bit annoying. And, uh, you know, I, it does my head in with shit like that. It really does my head in with shit like that. Because I know now that, you know, I'm probably going to try to get him to stay, give him a little bit more money, see if he'll stay. But uh, if he does leave, don't forget we've got Hewler and we've got some really good up-and-coming goalkeepers uh, coming. But he could leave in January, and he could leave for a bit of money, guys. You never know. He could leave for a bit of money. Well, I was going to change out one of my centre-backs, but they're both, both doing really, really well so far, and I don't want to go ahead and do that, so I'm just going to leave it. It's an away game against Stoke City today. They've got one of each of their last three. They lost 3-0 against Liverpool, drew against Burnley and beat Southampton 1-0, and lost against us... 2-0. Matsura getting a goal in there as well as Reed in the first minute. So 2-0. That is... Uh, we're doing really, really well. We're doing so well, guys. Capital One Cup round four against Derby County. Now, also, I did get a message from Rossi saying, Hey, 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 look at this. Blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. Look at the... I told you he was going to start winning, didn't I? But I've just offered him another contract, Rossi, and see what he says. Uh, there you go, look, look, boss, I've no intention of leaving AFC Wimbledon. I've committed to remaining here for the length of my contract and I'm delighted to be playing for you. I know that I've been a little homesick, but I appreciate the way everyone has helped me to feel so welcome. I want to stay and repay your faith in me whilst you pay me 9000 a week. Uh, thank you for giving me the pay rise, basically is what he's saying. So, no worries, Rossi, no worries. Second team time, of course. Oh, hang on a minute, cancel. I didn't put Mr. Sahar Matsura in there. Let's put him in. First team, to, uh, second team time, guys, against Derby County now for the um, Capital One Cup fourth round. I think it's fourth round. Is it fifth round? 
I don't know. But either which way, it's another home game. It's round four. It's another home game. I'm going to be happy with that one. If we can, come on, get let's get another win in here so that we can carry on with our second team in the Capital One Cup. Oh, get in there. I'm in person, coming off the bench. 77th minute, grabbing us the winner. Our second team have taken us all the way through the Capital One Cup so far. And I think I'm just going to leave them in there to play the, the, uh, the Capital One Cup because, well... You know, that's the only chance that they're getting to play any games at the moment. Back in the league, guys, and all of our first team is back out there to do the job, hopefully against Liverpool today. I was going to put in Pantic and I was going to put in Tevez because they both started whinging about first team football and I don't want to lose any of those guys. But this is such a big match that I don't want to lose it and I'm going to put my entire first team out for this one against uh, Liverpool. Now, it is a home game, and they're down in sixth. We are in third. How ledge is that? Home game against Liverpool. Come on now, Wimbledon. Let's be having you. Wimbledon versus Liverpool. 3-0. Are you believing this shit? Team with Luis Gustavo, Markovic, Sturridge, Lalana, all these amazing players. We've gone and thrashed them 3-0. Deegan, Allen, Holmberg. Uh, the Homburg coming off the bench to score, 81st minute. Really, really, we're doing amazingly well. I'm surprised. I really am surprised by my own team at the moment. Oh, it's also the first of the month, which means, of course, you squad month report that we're just going to totally ignore. And I've got manager of the month. Whee, get in there, son. Uh, look at these. They're all wanting to leave now. Gabriel Lopez. And what's this first? They're all wanting to leave. I can't believe it. I don't want him to leave. You can fucking stay here. Squad report. Let's have a look, see who's gone up. Sergio Rossi has gone up another point after signing his contract. He's decided, yes, I'm going to go up another point. Look at that. He's got an amazing goalkeeping stat, Sergio Rossi. Nobody else seems to have gone up. Miz Miatovic has gone up another point. Up three for the season so far to 82 in overall. Pio Vicari has gone up 1-73 to 73 after his substitute appearances, really, and also his appearances in the Capital One Cup. Philip Pantic has gone up 2 to 70. That won't do him any harm whatsoever. Gabriel Lopez has gone up 1 to 74. Also, with his uh, substitute appearances and Capital One Cup performances. Pontus Janssen has gone up 1 to 72. Simovic has gone up 3 to 69. Shola Awere has gone up 2 to 71. Yeshida has gone up 2 to 70. Uh, Ivan Contreras has gone up what, 3, up 3 for the season to 61. And Theodore Nicholas has gone up another one away when he's out on loan there, up 3 to 62. And his, his fucking, his physicals are actually going up. Holy shit. This is going to be the last game of this particular episode, guys. And I think I'm going to go out there. I'm going to give Gabriel Lopez. It is Gabriel, isn't it, this guy? I'm sure it is. I'm sure he's Gabriel Lopez. I'm also going to give Pantic the chance and Tevez the chance as well. Because they're all sick of sitting on the sidelines. Other than that... This is going to be our team. It's still a very, very good squad. Whether or not we can do the job against uh, Burnley, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and save those changes to the team sheet and kick off our final match of this episode against Burnley away. Now, we are currently sat in second place. Holy shit. Only three points, though, in it between me and Man City in, uh, in sixth place. One, a, a couple of losses, guys, and we're right back out there again. Away against Burnley in the Premier League to end... This episode off. Can we end in Champions League sp uh, spots? That would be amazing. Oh. We beat Liverpool. And we lose against Burnley. 1-0, guys. We lost against Burnley. Again, like I said, it only takes a couple of losses and we're back out of the Champions League spots. But currently, actually, everybody else seems to have uh, lost as well in the top. Because Chelsea are way out there on 29 points. But we're still on 20. And it's actually Spurs down there in 6th place on 17 points. So we haven't actually moved. And guess who we've got next, guys? First thing next episode, Spurs. So until then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, I've been Sopman as always. Stay safe.